Hey, what's going on? It's Chillcast, and we're continuing Katana with Shoujo. You know, yesterday I took a break, and then everyone just panicked, because I wanted no date break, because I was out state, and I was just, like, doing things, bro. You know, it was just like, uh, there's a song, a rap I was going to sing, and now I completely forgot it. You know, um, there's something along the lines of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, like a rap like that. I was so excited to sing it, you know. I don't even remember it. Fuck. Oh, well, I was going to think about it and try and sing it, but I didn't. But it was something to do with Katawa Shoujo yesterday, and I didn't upload it, so now it's not today, and yada, yada, yada. I'm the nurse. Ah, Mr. Nakai. What a happy coincidence. Tezuka, too, of course. Hmm. Hello, nurse. How are you? Oh. Well, there's Rin. God damn it. I can't be all flirty with the nurse if Rin's here. I'm just going to get suspicious. Definitely there's a problem in my pants. He nods courteously to Rin, who does not acknowledge him back, then turns to me, because obviously it's me who has some business with him. Oh, we got some business, huh? Wanna, wanna bro down? We got some beef to do? Alright, we got some business. Put up your dukes, buddy. Put them up. Come on, take your hands out of your pants. Let's do it. Let's fight. And if we don't fight, well, I, I kick well. I kick really well. There's something I forgot to mention on Monday, Sam, Sam boy. I nod and wait passively because I can't even begin to guess what he forgot. The feeling of the handle delving deeper into my skin doesn't make me feel enthusiastic about this interruption either. Because you're a man, deal with it, it's a paint can. How, how damaging can it be to one's skin complexion? Stop being a sissy and man up. It's about your medications, Zhao. Since you haven't been that long in the current medications, there might be some unexpected side effects, you know. Erectile dysfunction. And if you were gonna get with Miss Rin over here, you would have to be full force, huh? Hurricane? Which might require adjusting dosages or even change it to another kind of medication, Miss Alboy. So, we'll do a few tests regularly, but what I want you to do is keep an eye on everything in your condition that feels off, if you get what I mean. Nausea, headache, anything, and come see me if something happens, Miss Alboy. Alright. Just, just please, let's, let's not talk about my, my condition, there's, there's, there's chicks over here, bro. Alright, I can't be having wild sex if, if you're telling them I'm gonna die. So, how are you? Everything fine? Yeah, yeah, everything's, everything's good, just, just got a paint can. I give up and drop the can, the can to the floor, before answering him. And apparently this takes longer than my biceps can handle. My biceps can handle anything. You know, yesterday I was, I fucking just, I was doing, doing bicep things, and yeah, it felt good, man, it felt good. Felt real good. You know, I was like, I was like, I was like curling Rin, okay? Like, she wanted to fly, so I just put her in my arms and started curling the shit out of her. And I felt good, because not only was she able to fly and pretend to be like a plane with no wings, because she can't, because she's got no arms, so she can't really be a plane, I did her a service, and I was also working on my muscles as well. I'm a good person. I sound the guy who's a good person. I'm a pretty good person. I'm about to say something generic as an answer, but then I realize how often I've done that lately. So don't be generic. Be like, well, honestly, I feel like my dick is going to fall off from the medication, and my arms, they're tired, and I think I have welts in my hand from having the can thrown into them. So I feel like shit. Other people have asked me that too. Teachers and students here, my parents, visitors, nurses, doctors at the hospital. Everyone seems to be concerned about that. It's natural for a hospital, but not so much for a school, because the school is a hospital. Don't you get it, man? It's the battlegrounds for the feminist agenda. They want you to work it out, just so they can kill you later. It seems tough, bro. Happens all the time. Except this school. This is a small school, and both the student base and the faculty seem to be very tightly knit. Well, yes, if tightly knit, you mean one eye open and blank stare, then yes, they are very tightly knit and they care for each other deeply. Hmm. At least that's the feeling I'm getting, and that's why we know you're bad with feelings, Sal, because I don't get that feeling yet. And this is not this kind of cool, mm, anyway, that's not the kind of cool, 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 cool. It's not the kind of school that gets transfer students too often, well, not everyone's missing their arms every day. Hmm, the thought since shivers up my spine, but I give a generic answer anyway. I pull a shizun. That's great. Also, one other thing. My sources tell me that you've been at neither the school track nor even the pool. So I'd like to know if you were taking up exercising as I asked. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, you have no... Man, I am so ripped right now. You're gonna see my pecs? Of course I haven't, but this was an inquiring... This inquiring gives me the feeling that I should have been running my ass off on the track ever since the first day. You have people spying on me? Not as such. I just happen to know a few people, but that's not the issue here, so don't try and slip it out. Well, yeah, I know. I know you. I know you. And you know I know you because we talked last time, okay? I know that you're fucking Emmy and her mother, and I'm watching you do it. And I know you're getting them to spy on me. I'm aware of this. 
Well, I was actually doing some improvised weightlifting as an exercise, as you can see. I pick up lift the can up down a few times, like some sad imitation of a bodybuilder, even though it's weighing down my arm, my arms painfully, so he's not even a sad bodybuilder. He's just a shitty bodybuilder. The stupid grin disappears from his face for a second, then comes back like it was never gone. <laughs> Tezuka, would you give us a second? Oh god, this is where he either grabs my penis or he scalds me. I'm really hoping it's the former and not the latter. Wait, no, no, I'm hoping it's the latter. I'm hoping it's the latter. Oh god, this grabs me by the shoulder. Whew, that's not my penis. Waiting for Wynn's permission, which he didn't need in the first place, and tracks me aside. When I told you to exercise, I wasn't joking as so. hell. You could die. I understand you're still in your first week and all, but please don't ignore the importance of this. I, I can't even see. Are you looking at me? I can't even. Hello? Anyone? I don't know what the hell's going on. Why is he have his eyes closed? The reason I'm coming down on this hard on you is the habits are not easy to form. The more you slip and postpone, the harder it'll be, a boy. It's the same with everything, like dieting, hmm? Can you promise me to be more serious about this from now on? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. M maybe? No? I mean, he gives me a nasty sort of look when I say that. Make me try and take back my word. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm still trying to get used to the school, you know, and everything. I'll promise to try, though. You're not being very convincing there, so. Tip number one. Medical professionals are not amused if you take their advice lightly. Well, tip number two. Get the fuck over yourself, buddy. Medical professional. You're not even like 22 yet. And that black shirt? That is so 90s. Okay? And, and your hair? Total 2,000. And your eyes? They're not even fucking there anymore. So don't even give me your shit. I'll, I'll tip you all day. I will give you tips on how to be successful with the ladies, okay? And not just the older ladies, because that's all you can get. And I'll give you tips for the younger ladies, too. And not the younger ladies where you come off as, like, a weird, creepy guy. But, like, the right-aged ladies. It's like, 25. So talk to me. There's... Touche. Mm -hmm. What's up with him? As if a day or two would make that much of a difference. I didn't do anything in the hospital, either. Yeah, okay. Jerk off. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He sighs me for a moment, then shrugs, smiling again. Okay, that's more like it. This guy is more bipolar than Matau, my mother, and everyone else in the world. If you go to the school track tomorrow morning, you'll meet my spy, who probably has no qualms offering consultation to you, if you want to jog a bit. Yeah, you spy, eh? Consultation? Spies? Feminists? I can do that. I can see it now. Hassel, the teenage rock star hot drub. Who's a rock star and a spy? Sounds like Anthony YouTube sounds like America. Oh god, what is on my arm? There's a bug. Eee! Get off me. Get off. Ow. This is the weirdest bug I've ever seen. It's like a little, little like fly thing, but it wasn't like a fly, it was like on my arm. Yeah. See you around, Zell boy. Yeah, yeah, I read. He leaves a wave of his hand and no answer. And I walked to Rin who's been waiting, idly leaning against the hallway and staring at the pale lighting fixtures in the ceiling. My name is Rin. I don't have friends. I'm actually kind of cute. But I'm a boy. Meh. Penis. Even when I approach, she doesn't move her eyes off them. Are you getting medications for your heart thingy? Y why, why, yes. I'm getting medications for my heart thingy. Um, yes. Were, were you listening? Comes out more accusatory than I intended, accidentally lashing out there. Hey, 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 woman. All right, this is, a, this is a world dominated by the XY chromosome, okay? So if you think you can come in here and march in here with your XX, well, I got another thing coming. I'm a sound guy. I'm a bigot. I, I bigot three things. So you listen, woman, and you take your feminist agenda, and you walk back to your store, and you close the door. We're shutting it down. We're shutting that store down. You, you take your XX, and you go. All right? I'm a sound guy. I do things. Sometimes. Today, we learned that Sound Akai not also is a racist, but a sexist and a bigot, and he hates all people of all sorts. <laughs> White people, he says. What's the deal with people with no arms? It's not like they can give you a handshake. So what are they going to do? Shake a leg? Oh, get out of here. <laughs> oh, man. I sound the kind. Just stick to being a good person. You're a horrible, sexist, racist bigot. You're horrible. You're doing a horrible job at that. You need to work on it. If you're going to be if you're gonna be a sexist, we need to, you need to talk to Tony Guido because he was doing a good job at it. You, no good. You apparently like everyone equal, which is good. That's Al, if you like everyone equal, perfect. Then we can have a happy world. Whatever. Let's just move on. God. Seriously, brah. It's, like, it's not like everyone's a bunch of feminists in here. Sometimes. I think it was a drinking game every time I said feminist. Feminist? Feminist. 
feminist. Comes out more accusatory, but she's a feminist, so it doesn't matter. But even so, I don't really want to start talking about it. I just met her. I don't know her. It's not her business. Nurse seems to be happily ignorant, often confidentially. Oh, about confidentiality, too. Talking about that kind of thing in public. But it's not Rin's fault, is it? I look up to her, suddenly feeling a bit guilty. But Rin is just staring past my shoulder. Quizzically, her head took it like a bird's. Sigh. I don't know why this is so hard for me. Feels like there's some inexplicable lock that prevents me from being more upfront about this. Yeah, get it from my heart. Will it make you better? No, no, not really. But it'll prevent me from dying, and stuff. You know, which is which is good. They they just make it everything a little less worse. You know. <clears throat> Rin keeps looking at me for a while longer. She neither says like, anything further nor displays any kind of emotion I could discern. I'm thankful that she doesn't. I think I'm still not quite used to it all. I have to cough. <sighs> <clears throat> At the hospital, it was easy, but I still haven't sorted my feelings out about having to live a normal life with a disability. You don't have a disability. You have an internal conundrum. That's what you have. You have an internal conundrum where you could potentially combust. And that's what we're labeling you as. You are the ICC, the internal conundrum combustible person. It's the only problem is when you have an internal conundrum, you could die without anyone really noticing it. And you can have problems without anyone noticing it. So you suffer the same emotional issues, even though you have no physical issues to show the scars. You see what I'm saying? Ring could suffer from emotional issues. And you see the physical essence of those emotional issues. No arms. No hands. You see the physical sense of why she's struggling emotionally. Me? Me? What do they see? They see nothing. They see a boy. Oh, I sound like guy. Guy's pretty fucking good looking. Yeah, I'd do him. And then they don't know the emotional burden and toll on my life because I have no physical scars to prove it. I may have a physical scar on my chest, but hey, hey, hey. I can't take off my shirt for the ladies all the time. So I have no physical pain. They only see me. No emotional pain. I get to see both in Rin. The physical suffering which causes the emotional burden. It's truly fascinating and something something mind blowing sometimes. You know. Or we could just all be crazy, you know. Because people like to take everything I say seriously, which sometimes is not serious. Remember, Internet, please! God, anytime we talk about, let's put a list on it racism, sexualism, nationality, nationalism in general, and pride when it comes to anything. And ignorance, please don't take any of it seriously like before when I was talking about the X, uh, Y chromosome having to shut down their store and just get out. Come on, who takes that seriously? And when I called myself a cracker, come on. We're just joking here. We're having a good time. Maybe you're not having a good time. I'm having a good time. So again, just know, with all seriousness, um, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but it seems like all of a sudden, like, a lot of people are coming out of the woodwork being like, chilled, I'm very offended. Well, good, go be offended elsewhere. The number one thing that we've learned on the internet is not to be offended. We talked about that like a year ago, that, you know, it's the internet. Don't be offended. It's not directly targeting you, and I have no qualms with you. I don't know who you are. I'm just speaking who I am. I'm just speaking my mind, and I'm not pushing any ideals or values on you, and I'm not judging you for who you are, so... Be what you want. But if you're a Nazi, seriously, fuck you if you're a Nazi. So that's, well, that's what I was saying, you know, just just be cool, brah. Just just be cool. I'm not I'm not trying to offend anyone. We're trying to live our life. You know, everyone's got different emotional burdens. We're trying to live our life. You get what I'm saying? Understand, brah? 500 yen? And say, if I, seriously. And seriously. Seriously? Seriously. If anyone does not freaking understand that for America and in America is satirical at its finest. And you guys really think I hate every other country except for America in America? Then I don't even know anymore. I will take this can, this this can right here, which is full of soda, and I will I will drop it on stuff and like dogs and stuff, and they'll get sticky. And you cannot do anything about that, okay? And and the hell with that, all right? It's satirical, man. I'm just God. Those people who are so uptight, they have their panties so far up their assholes, they don't understand anything about life. They just, they look to be offended at the slightest thing. They're just like, well, well, he just said America, and he, he left out uh, Bosnia Herzegovina. You know, he didn't talk about us, so obviously he hates those Bosnians, you know? No, 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 it's just, it doesn't sound good when you say, for Bosnia and Herzegovina. It doesn't sound good when you say that, so I don't say it. God, now you're making me fucking, I have to say Captain Planet because I'm offending other people, so I have to pretend to cover everyone when it's all a joke to begin with. I'm good. I'm good. I'm all good. I'm all good. I'm okay. I'm fine. At least I always know I'm an American in America.